when I mean dishonesty, I don't mean purposeful dishonesty, you know, where someone's lying to me, but whenever I feel that Mary isn't being truthful with me about how she is feeling, I cannot connect to myself sexually with her. Right. So, so no matter how much she wants to make love, I cannot make love to her in those, that situation. And the reason what I and what I've found is every time I also feel an emotion from Mary that she wants to somehow control me sexually, I can't respond in that situation anymore either. Alright? So as soon as I feel that emotion from her, straight away I, I I'm straight away um, go from erect to limp immediately and cannot respond sexually to her in any way until we discuss that emotion and work through that emotion. Does that make sense? So, most men are used to being able to become erect and have sex with anyone. What I'm saying is, the more and more you progress spiritually, you'll get to a point where the only person you'll be able to have sex with is your soulmate. And secondly, you will not even be able to have sex with your soulmate unless there is a connection going on at multiple chakra levels with regard to truth, honesty, openness, with regard to control, all of those issues would start, start to be triggered and resolved. And what I'm finding is as I deal with another emotion regarding emotions that I've had from women, I find that our sex life's in, impacted immediately and unless Mary then deals with the opposite emotion within herself, we can't reconnect sexually. Does that make sense to everyone what's going on there? So this is, so that can be quite confronting, right? Because it's like, today we had great sex, tonight we deal with an emotion, tomorrow is terrible again. What's going on, you know what I mean? And often that actually occurs. Also, if, if I find if I am being driven by a need to please Mary, I cannot connect sexually. But if I'm driven by a desire to please Mary, then I can connect sexually. So, can you see how as soon as we get into neediness, you'll start actually realising these things going on within yourself? So, my injury emotionally with women has been mostly that I want to please a woman. So that's been my biggest injury emotionally to work through, in that I want to please a woman no matter how badly she treats me, or no matter how bad I feel about pleasing her. Right? And many of you men actually have this emotion uh, in the audience too. And so you go down the track of actually pleasing the woman, but actually disconnecting from yourself in order to do it. And that is a very damaging place to be. And it's going to detune you sexually as well. Now, many men get into this state then where they worry, where they become impotent. Now, impotence is totally curable, for a start, by emotion. But the inter inter impotence is driven by a deep anger and rage, in fact, with the opposite sex. That is not being allowed to be experienced. So if you're a male in a state of impotence, you are basically refusing to become sexually connected with the female and there must be some very, very strong emotions in you about that. And those emotions will be related to how you were treated as a child by women and in particular by your mother. Does that make sense? The key is to go into those emotions. If you have a premature ejaculation issue as a male, what will be happening there is that you actually want to become fulfilled yourself but refuse to fulfill your partner. So therefore there must also be some quite ang deep anger based emotions within you towards the opposite sex to work your way through. Now many times what will happen in these situations is we will tell ourselves, no I don't feel angry with my mother or I don't feel angry with the opposite sex, I had a good relationship with my mother. You know, she always treated me nicely and I always treated her good and, you know what I mean? We go down this reasoning. The law of attraction is proving something different to you. And that is that you're ignoring 
how the inner, the child, when you were a child, felt. You're ignoring how he felt in this interaction with your mother. And he obviously felt controlled. He obviously felt manipulated. He obviously felt like he had to do everything his mother wanted. And he didn't like doing that, but felt he couldn't rebel, because if he rebelled, he wouldn't get loved. Does that make sense? The only way to get loved from a male, uh, in a, male, a male in that situation is to not rebel against his mother, do whatever she wants to do, and so forth. Now, if it's to do, if we're in a homosexual relationship, it will, might be not just our mother, it might be our father that we've got that issue with. In other words, our father controlled us. Our father, um, you know, pushed us around, pushed us into certain areas and so forth that we didn't want to go and we felt controlled. So look at the issue with your father. Does that make sense? Look at those issues from an emotional perspective. <coughs>